video, I have a saying about giving a rat's ass. It's kind of funny that, how can you give a rat's ass? The ass of the rat isn't yours to give. So let the rat keep his ass. Or you can pick up a rat in tandem to somebody else ass first. And yes, you're giving a rat's ass. And if the other person wants to accept the rat ass first, to give a rat's ass, you're sort of offering up the rat's ass and it's up to the other person if he wants to accept. So I'll have another saying too that uh, in some certain things that if a rat's ass should really be offered or even given about a particular subject. So that's what I say about tolerance to a certain thing. You can say sometimes you give a shit. There's some ass, and I also have a thing where I say there's certain aspects of giving a shit or giving a fuck. It's not that I don't give a shit or give a fuck. It's there's some aspects of giving a shit or giving a fuck that I don't give a shit or a fuck about. And at any given time, when and where should a rat's ass be given or a fuck be given or a, a shit be given or even offered? You know what I mean? Um, What's up, Yens guys? Time for another video. I'm gonna do another video. I'm not sure what I'm titling this yet, but yes, it's another video about uh, that shit I uh, saw in YouTube videos about Dawkins. And I'm gonna tell you one thing. Uh, I, you, a lot of you people that know me by now, uh, I have my thing about anybody in any party telling me, sticking her finger in their face, telling me what I better do and what I better think. And I got a lot of my own beliefs that I don't force on anybody. And a lot of my fitness uh, stuff is ritualistic and it uh, revolves around particular beliefs. And for a lot of multi-purpose reasons, put it that way. So, and I'm gonna tell you one thing, uh, yeah, I'm not going to go on and on and make this video all about uh, that, but I'm going to give you a basic idea not to give waste this video on a whole manifesto. You guys know me by now that already subscribed to me. The only thing I can't stand, say, organized religion people with uh, private airplanes and million-dollar homes and uh, way more salary you know, on a stage telling that somebody how, how it's going to be you know, well, there's people with lesser or smaller churches trying to do some charity that are barely struggling. Uh, I ain't with that shit. And with me, with evolution, it's just, I don't go for that uh, completely, uh, I'm not com completely committed to, uh, co well, excuse me, I'm trying not to laugh because I think it's hilarious where the... Uh, Darwin evolution. I'm part. The only way I'll accept any kind of evolution is some religious people accept some of it, and some don't. Uh, different species that adapt for different reasons. You get that. There's some evolution, and I still. My motto is: the only evolution you got to give a flying rat's ass about is your own evolution. And uh, some of my fitness rituals is like more like. Uh, adaptation you know evolution does not apply except your own you know uh, you can I believe you can de-evolve I'm not gonna I have a whole manifesto about that I'm not gonna waste the time but I'm gonna tell you one thing if you got this far in this video I noticed though too what some of the religious side fanatical or the decent religion that side has in common with the atheist evolution side uh, I I, I think, uh, I'm trying not to laugh here, that yes, they both have this in common. Whether you want to be religious or you want to be atheist or you believe in all that evolution, we come from monkeys, to total monkeys, junk. Believe it or not, uh, 
the atheist side, the evolution side, and religious side do have one thing in common, one belief in common, and you know what that is? Uh, they believe in one particular fact, okay? One avoidable fact, and you know what that is? The fact that if you're a dude or a chick, right, and you came out of the womb as a baby, whatever, with whatever private parts or equipment you came with, that is what you are, a dude or a chick. I mean, the um, gender that you're born with, that you came out of the womb with, uh, that is what you are, right, until you turn in 18 or a legal age, if you want to cosmetically alter your gender, whether people don't like it or not, uh, and uh, it's a whole other video, but I don't go for that. Anybody doing that shit, mutilations underage, and, and I don't want to go on too much, but there was that uh, thing with uh, that uh, Levine and Rand Paul. Uh, Levine wouldn't uh, answer Rand Paul's question, deliberately, blatantly ignored his question about condoning, you know, uh, minors getting that are not old enough to make such decisions. But anyway, what the religious have in common and the evolution and Dawkins thing have in common is that what you came out of the womb as, uh, when you came out of the womb, that, that gender, that is what you are, and that is it. And Dawkins, yeah, them YouTube videos, Dawkins, uh, and I try not to laugh and talk about this. But he gets canceled. Uh, and some award taken off of him. And I'm try I am still, I made another video about this. I'm still trying not to laugh and mess this video up. But uh, anyway, who the fuck do these people think they are? Okay. And, you know, I was rebelling. I don't want the, I always made videos before about not telling the Dawkins, have, not having the Dawkins and a evolutionists people tell me what to do, but yet I'm partial to some re evolution, you know what I mean? And then the real fanatic re religious say certain exercise or anything that looks like yoga is satanic or whatever. And I got, there's some middle ground. I says, I'm not telling anybody to worship anything that's known to promote any bad stuff. You know, you atheists watching, you know, the, I don't, God, whether you believe demons exist or not, I'm not anything that promotes anything. And like, and I, a demon, they say if it's a metaphorical thing that people want to worship to do bad stuff, I don't go for that. Any more than I give, any more than I condone hypocrites with fancy airplanes and then the racial and BLM thing too, exploiting uh, racial issues to make money like the BLM. I don't go for that bit. But anyway, this thing with Dawkins, I mean, too. Uh, this is the height of arrogance. Okay, if somebody is uh, whatever age, I don't give a shit. What, I can give a flying rat's ass. I, can, I couldn't give a fraction of a shit if somebody wants to identify as some other gender just to force it down my throat and tell me what to think about it. And don't go telling anybody how, with the public school, to raise their kids. And I don't go for that bullshit that you're seeing on YouTube videos, right? Uh, that, that, that these assholes that want to make, take everybody's kid. I mean, uh, they would they literally want to, uh, to take every single person's kid when they come out of the womb and put them on some kind of hormone or puberty blockers or whatever until they're old enough to under you know i mean any of you got I, i'm i'm not, i don't want to presume all of you guys seen that shit the youtube's about that some of that such so, so, <laughs> try not to laugh sorry some of that shit that i've seen about it on youtube videos it's so damn crazy you gotta wonder if it if that if these people are for real if there's people that really believe that shit they can go fuck a goddamn porcupine you're not gonna do you own, who the fuck you think gay? They, I'm be telling them who the fuck do they think they are. That every single individual who has a baby, say, out of the hospital, that you're going to make them put their babies on some kind of blockers. Uh, and whether you're an atheist or whether you're religious, 
watch it. This is a crime against nature. Nobody has the right to do that to anybody's baby because you know why? But it's just like I said. Dawkins is right about that one thing. Say, even if you don't like Dawkins, that has, I says that, his thing, he says science, right? And my thing is, oh, people are willing to say, oh, the science, when they want to fight with Christians, whether fanatical Christians or just Christians that want to be separatists and stay away from bullshit. Uh, oh, yeah, everybody's willing, if they, the, the ones that are fanatical about their anti-religionism or atheism, oh, yeah, they throw the science in people's faces, right, when they want to fight with Christians. But, oh, then, then now these people come along. I'm not saying everybody that identifies another gender is like this. There's probably ones out there I'm trying to give them benefit of the doubt, say, oh, they're probably saying, oh, we're not all like that. But any of the ones that are like that, they can kiss my goddamn ass and go fuck a goddamn porcupine. That's the height of arrogance. Oh, yeah, you can believe in science, right? Which Dawkins calls it science. The Christian call it. Both Christians and Dawkins both believed that what you came out of the womb as, whatever private parts you have, that's your gender from birth. And anything else, when you, the minute you say turn a legal age, that you're allowed to go and consent or whatever cosmetic gender change you want to, I got... Do what they can just do what they want to do. Yeah, they can do what they want to do. Fine. I, I couldn't, like I said, I couldn't give a fraction of a shit. Uh, either way, don't tell everybody else what to do. But yeah, this is fuck, the most hilarious thing I've ever seen in my life. The height of arrogance and the height of being the biggest narcissistic control freak. I mean, to go that far. It's like, who the fuck? Some organization or institution or whatever thinks that they can control reality and control even science and not to be repetitive they think they who the fuck these people think they are trying to control a particular thing that I'm saying both religious and straight up science people both believe right um, that's what the religious people and the um, um, evolutionist or atheist crowd both have in common that it's an unescapable fact. You come out of the womb as a dude, you're a dude. You come out of a, as a chick, you're a chick. And anybody that, that has the nerve to try to tell anybody else what to think and control that, they're out of their goddamn mind. Uh, and if you got this far in this video, if you're one of the evolutionary crowd or atheist crowd that wants to be on board and side with these wackos about that, I don't have any respect for you. Like I said, I said earlier in the game when I was first on YouTube, when I watched everybody from the amazing atheist to the Christians on the other side, listen to the stuff just for entertainment and see who's more fanatical than other try to respect the atheist person's rights to stay away from religion maybe because it's too fanatical. Don't hate on them, but there's ones I were things I regarded was too controlling and fanatical in atheism, right? And then, like I said, fanatical religion. There's other people in religion that are better. They want to stay away from bullshit. And um, I particularly, my motto always was particularly, uh, uh, Jesus actually um, killed the. Uh, the hustle that what I called the prehistoric sacrificial dogma, which was a racket. The uh, he killed uh, Jesus killed the uh, animal sacrifice industry, if you will. Uh, that's why I say uh, you want to believe in him in that respect. That's what I say we needed Jesus Christ to actually do. But everything else happened later. Inquisitions. Nobody wanted to see that happen. The world got better. And. Uh, don't want to do <laughs> oh damn but anyway yeah I'm trying not to laugh I'm just playing in my head I'm trying not to laugh it's like yeah if you want to if something if you want to be identify as whatever the hell you want to be some other gender you do what you want to do but then when you want to go tell everybody else what to do and say tell a Christian 
that they have to believe your bullshit and then tell even the Dawkins dude and the, sci the, the evolution dude. Which I say once again, they both have in common that you came out of the womb with gender. That's what you are until you decide to cosmetically alter it. But, there, but yet, the fact is, there still is only two genders. Everything else is just what somebody just wants to do. That's it. There's only two genders. Anything else is just basically, uh, in one respect, a uh, demand for attention and a demand to be coddled and, and an entitlement. Uh, the uh, pseudo right to control everybody else. Yeah, that uh, that just is what it is. Yeah, no matter. Uh, yeah, like I said, uh, both the Christian and the Dawkins people believe that. And. Uh, yeah, anybody else wants to cosmetically alter their souls and consent to that shit when they are old enough. And uh, anybody that believes in that other shit, you know, uh, with minors, they can just go, they can kiss my goddamn ass. That's, that's all bullshit. And I'll say it once again, yeah. Yeah, who the fuck do they think they are? I mean, the height of arrogance, can you imagine even... The guy, you, you never in a million years you would think that uh, you would be siding with uh, the evolution guy or the, uh, the Dawkins dude. But it just makes me laugh. I, just, before I end this video, I still can't believe that shit is even for real. You know what I mean? Uh, that's outright control. That's right, outright, outright ignorance. And before I end this video, if you're a evolution person or an atheist... And you don't cut the balls to stand up to those people. And you're, you're willing to... Yeah, if you're a person that's willing to, uh, like I said, go on the evolution side just to fight with Christians. But yet, yeah, you're, if, you're, uh, if you're an atheist and an evolutionist, we'll fight with Christians, but yet cringe to these uh, uh, mentally ill gender people like that and cringe to them. And not make up your own mind. I don't have no respect for you. Put it that way. And yeah, you too. You go uh, fuck a goddamn porcupine. Kiss my goddamn ass. You know what I mean? Like I said, um, yeah, there's a little bit of everybody I could, couldn't give a shit about. And uh, there's some... I support people's rights. Just do what you want to do. But don't tell anybody else what to do. And these people, okay, are literally, like I said, I'll say one more time, the the height of control freakism, the height of, I say, soci sociopath and narcissism. It's, I'll say narcissopath because a narcissist and a sociopath, too. <laughs> you call them a narcissopath. I mean, that is going, like, too far. And you, you almost want to just not make a video too long just to make fun of that shit. You know? that, yeah, that's, okay, that's when it becomes a full-blown mental disorder. You can do what you want to do. You want to be some other gender, that's on you, what you want to do. But then uh, it becomes a mental disorder when you want to go tell a Christian and an evolutionist that, don't, that like I said, believes in whatever you, they both believe whatever you came out as, out of the womb as, that's what you are. Tell them what to do. That the ultimate arrogance, sociopathy, psychopathy, and outright arrogance and uh, complete stupidity and an, an insult to the intelligence of uh, both sides of the tracks. You know what I mean? Uh, sure as uh, shit ain't gonna tell me what to do or or. Um, yeah, I'm on the side of that uh, black gentleman on YouTube that's the former cop shirt. That, but go buy those t-shirts from Brandon Tatum that say, not my kid. I'm on board with that shit, you know what I mean, right off the bat. 